Okay. We'll see where this goes, where we go with this. <clears throat> what I decided to do with this. So this guy here is uh, Marty Leeds. If you haven't already checked this guy out, Marty Leeds 33. Please, please do so. To understand the esoterics of uh, the world you're living in, instead of just existing upon the, what what you've been taught to believe and the exoterics of it. Basically, this guy uh, focus. He uh, has came up with a uh, certain cipher for Germantria. And uh, it also heavily uh, draws upon uh, themes and uh, teachings of Freemasonry. True free Freemasonry, which is why I'm kind of like, have been, uh, after watching this, I watched this uh, video here of his. <clears throat> and beyond just like wanting to give a shout out to this guy, like... I also want to uh, reiterate that um, th how key discernment is, especially like as you're waking up, you're going to be uh, drawn towards things, uh, certain avenues and pathways where <clears throat> people use certain keywords and it seems like they know what they're talking about because of their... Uh, passion and fire, but that, that does not automatically mean that they know what the fuck they're talking about. You have to take it upon yourself to dive into the research and, and to realize what is what for you. And this takes many levels. Uh, there are many levels and layers to this of, uh, re-educating yourself of emptying your cup of the bullshit that you've been indoctrinated with <clears throat> and i i love marty leeds i appreciate the fuck out of marty leeds he he's an amazing human being <clears throat> um his his he makes music as well like his lyrics are, are fucking key are, are fucking beautiful his uh his instrumentals and his ability to play uh, instruments is fucking magical. But, uh, and once again, like, I'm not, uh, not to be super uh, critical or anything, but it's just, uh, <laughs> from what I've listened to with Marty's music, uh, it's, it's just, uh, a timing and a key factor that separates uh, what he's putting out with, uh, you know, amazing as opposed to like brilliant, which the message and the music is brilliant, but like the uh, the timing and, and the rhythm and the resonance. That's the only thing, but but that's going to be the case with all most people who who have this much uh, fire and energy. Uh, and, and after even watching this, it's like, dude, how how is your brain not exploding? Because of all uh, all the fucking neurons firing and just what you're fucking ah, uh, this guy's on fire right here in this video. So yeah, watch this video. Let's see if we can see what it's called. No. Uh, Mid-morning rant, something. Uh, Alex Jones, Freemason, Ray, and then he goes into Bill Cooper a little bit. And then, yeah, Alex Jones just did a podcast, or just was on Joe Rogan's podcast. So uh, check that out. 
if you haven't yet. Or there's there's so many fucking clips on YouTube that you can just check out whatever uh, you're drawn towards there. <clears throat> but uh, that is a very interesting uh, podcast there. The second one with Joe Rogan and uh, <laughs> fucking Alex Jones. Alex Jones is someone that I do put people on towards, but on a uh, like an initiatory level to kind of uh, pop their cherry, so to speak. Because Alex Jones puts out some quality shit, but he's also like uh, so over the top that. Um, for people that are easily offended or triggered, they're not going to listen to, uh, or, or look into anything that Alex Jones says. Alex Jones and Joe Rogan coming together for a second time here. They're basically merging, you could say, and becoming the same person. This is what, what, what happened here, essentially, is that they, uh... Alex Jones caved and uh, became more Joe Rogan-like. And then uh, the beauty, though, was that Joe Rogan uh, became more like Alex Jones. And you, we, we got to see a little bit of uh, some deeper aspects of Joe Rogan. Basically, we got to see uh, who he really is, where he's really operating from. And then in that, and I don't like to say this terminology, but, uh, oh, they expose themselves. This is also something because uh, like the only sport that I really follow is like UFC or uh, mixed martial arts, any kind of MMA. So uh, a lot of the terminology there is like, oh, they expose their weaknesses. But this is what happened here. Uh, Joe exposed himself uh, for what he really knows, what he uh, believes in, and then what he talks about. So obviously he's playing uh, on on he's playing ball with ball on many different levels. He calls it playing devil's advocate. I call it uh, engaging the bitch. He knows how much money he makes, who his sponsors are. What, uh, how far to go on certain things. Uh, even if he does go too far on certain things, he knows how to pull back and and make it seem like it's all, uh, speculation and conspiracy. Alex Jones, uh, like with the first podcast he did with Joe Rogan, there's... There are some things he touched upon there that's a uh, super, super deep level. He doesn't have uh, quite the clarity because he doesn't have the inner gnosis, the inner work that, that is required to understand the outer aspects of uh, your nature and your reality. But Alex Jones is a, uh, he's a genuine human being. And uh, he's uh, he's vastly underrated, and that's why I recommend uh, looking at both the podcasts with him and Joe Rogan, because then you'll kind of uh, get to understand, 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 overstand all the stands of uh, who this guy really is, what he's about, and oftentimes, whenever our uh, Boundaries are uh, dissolved a little bit through the help of certain aids or even uh, beverages or plant spirit medicines. Then we uh, kind of let loose a little bit. And this is what happens here with uh, Alex Jones and Joe Rogan. 
uh, Alex kind of just let lets loose eventually uh, upon like uh, what what's really going on, and uh, he doesn't have the uh, like I said, he doesn't have the inner gnosis to, to really understand uh, what's and get it hundred percent. But, uh, he has enough that if you, if the viewer, if the person, if the individual listening has done a little bit of, uh, work inside themselves, work with, uh, the inner psyche, with, uh, deep work with, uh, plant spirit medicine, with and without that then they will be able to understand and understand uh, some of the things that Alex Jones is, is touching upon whenever he goes uh, off the deep end, basically, and starts talking about uh, inner, inner dimension, interdimensional aliens and whatnot, and the power struggle here. So, yeah. Whenever I uh, mention Alex Jones to people, it's always in like, you know, yeah, look into him, get get what you can out of it, but also, like, you have to do your own research and, and everything, and listening with everything, and Marty fucking, uh, you know, says it here also, like, you have to do your own fucking research, like, don't listen to what, what the fuck I say, like, like, if you gain inspiration from it, that's great, but... Do your own fucking research. Like, allow it to inspire you. Allow whatever I say, whatever anyone says, to inspire you to do your own research. Figure out for yourself what is what. So, yeah. That went a little bit better than what I thought. So, uh... Hmm. I'll probably end up putting this up. But, essentially... I'm going to just randomly go through certain parts of this because as I watch this, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to include this. Ooh, I'm going to include this. And then I'm like, god damn, people just need to watch all of this. <sighs> there are uh, a lot of interesting, and I, I'm, I'm a type of person that, that uh, I've always been the type of person that that uh, is is aware of the subtleties of what people do. This the little uh, you could call them like uh, the little clicks that people do. So uh, in this one, Marty is constantly scratching himself, constantly, and this is the very beginning one. This is the very beginning of it, where he's uh, constantly scratching the, <coughs> excuse me, the right side of his head. <coughs> but there's several times throughout this where he's uh, really scratching himself his skin. And this is a little bit deeper of a thing than probably what I'll go into right now. What I will say, and it's like kind of like what I said in uh, probably my second to last, or I don't know, one of my previous videos here recently, where I was talking about the woke ones, that channel, and how uh, some of the things that she experiences, and that I was experiencing similar things. Well, this kind of goes in with the skin scratching and the. Uh, the sensations going on there, and uh, for me, coming at it from through a shamanic and through a level of engagement and awareness, where I'm able to witness what's going on, but also like allow it to happen because I, I want to learn from it. So I I don't like oh my god this is happening I don't like it I need to stop it mm. that's not where I come from I I come from a place of Ooh, this is interesting. Let's see where this goes. Let's see what's uh, happening with this. Let's try to understand and understand what's going on here.
So I can come up with a lot of theories, a lot, a lot of uh, speculations. I don't necessarily like to do that. <laughs> Sometimes I will do that. Just, just to kind of uh, get people to think for themselves and start to, you know, start to question things and, and get that fucking uh, brain working and thinking, contemplating. That's what I want to encourage is contemplation within yourself. But, I did notice that Marty Leeds scratched himself probably more in this video than he has in any any of the other videos that I've watched previously. But, I will also say that he does scratch uh, frequently in, in a lot of his videos. And I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh my god, <laughs> it's a bad thing. Like, uh, like I've said before, there's no... I don't see things as good or bad, and I just see things as experience. It is what it is. And so it's up to the individual to decide uh, the reasons why these effects are happening and, and to understand the root causalities of these things. But oftentimes in this world we're living in right now, we're taught to just overlook shit or just believe the narrative that we've been given since a very young age. Oh, it's just this. No need to think about it, you know, any deeper. Go go along with your fucking routine because it doesn't matter. <clears throat> well, it all matters. You matter. All of you matter. So, one of the things that I haven't been experiencing lately is, uh, you, um, I, I don't want to go too in depth in it right now because this is kind of like a conversation I would have with a specific person going through this so that we could, uh, relate. But because I'm putting this out here for everyone, I'm not going to do that. Because it's just going to seem like, oh my god, that's what you think? You're fucking crazy. Which is fine, I don't really give a shit about that. But I, I'm in a state right now where I'm able to <laughs> not go to that place. Because I understand that I'm not just talking to, just talking to uh, one person. Basically, I have been experiencing this uh, skin irritation as of lately, uh, very pronounced, more so than, I don't want to say than I have, have ever had, but in recent memory, more so than I have ever had. So, a few things that you go throw out there, uh... Stuff in the air, chemtrails. <sighs> Essentially, though, what it comes down to is bacterium. Certain levels of new and nuances of awareness where uh, certain things are eating certain things on the skin and this causes irritation I also want to say <laughs> that I have been uh, cleansing and showering and you know using different kind of cleansers so like there's no reason why I should have like an excessive buildup of bacteria on my skin causing this. Because if I didn't shower for like fucking weeks or days on end, like I could, I would understand like why I'm having this kind of uh, irritation on the skin and uh, feelings of uh, certain things on my skin eating certain things. 
but it has, this has been the experience of like uh, certain bacteria eating away, not necessarily just at the skin, but uh, certain properties of the skin. I understand that this isn't going to make sense for, for some people, and for some people that have had the experience, this is going to make sense. And for some people who have a deeper level, uh, subtle energy experiences, that they're, they're going to know absolutely what I'm talking about in that. This is kind of beyond just like a physicality thing. This is like a, I'm witnessing things eating my, eating my skin. And I know how that sounds and comes off. But, you know, I've chosen not to freak out about it and to see it for what it is. To try to understand what's really going on here. And, and, I, and I also am coming from a place where I know that I'm not alone here. And I know that it, it, at the very least, mm -hmm, within my physical uh, locality, uh, more and more people in my direct experience... <laughs> are experiencing things that I experience. And this is kind of getting up uh, to a level where it's, I wouldn't say freaking me out, but it's uh, just very bizarre that I'm seeing so many people in my locale all of a sudden be interested in the things that I am engaging and uh, consume the things that I am consuming. Uh, it, 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 and as far as food, and as far as uh, ideas, and it's it's kind of to the point where it's either something's fucking with me, or something is showing me the level of influence that I have, or that there's just degrees of uh, levels of. Uh, the in between those two states, because it really in factuality it's always both and neither at the same time with everything. The only thing that uh, that's dependent upon is your level of perception. How much are you able to perceive of what's really going on within and without? So yeah, I'll, I should have some, some places uh, like memorized here and time stamped of, of what Marty says and where he says it so that I can talk about that, but I don't. Just because <laughs> of the energies right now, various reasons, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to randomly, you know, go to certain places of this here and, and see if I, I happen upon certain things that I want to talk about or not. But also, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this at the very beginning. I don't think I did. But right at the beginning of this video, he mentions Big Nicks. So shout out to Big Nicks. That's fucking awesome. Big Nicks was in my last li live stream. Where I did some Oracle ratings and whatnot. So Big Nicks is fucking awesome. That was awesome. To uh, see, to hear Marty fucking say that. And, and also, like, he, uh, he kept saying things that I have been saying recently. Like, uh, certain, certain sayings. So that was that was that caught my attention, of course. So I listened, went ahead and listened to all of it, but towards the end here, it became clear to me once again uh, of uh, the the inner work 
that Marty has done. Because this is always where I come from whenever I'm uh, in engagement with people. No matter who they are, their fucking social status, which is fucking retarded bullshit. I always come from a place where, how much inner work have you done? And this is not a question. <laughs> this is something I ask people. This is something that I uh, am able to pick up upon. So uh, I appreciate Marty because he's uh, reached a, a certain place upon his inner work, but he's uh, shed light upon so many, so many uh, of the exoterics, and he's uh, shed light on the esoterics of it. Say like Freemasonry. Which, if you want to know about Freemasonry, you need to watch Marty Leeds. Because otherwise, you're just going to, like, believe what you've heard up on uh, certain fucking videos or certain people talking about, like, you know, how uh, satanic uh, Freemasonry is or whatnot. But you have to understand and understand that the times that we live in right now uh, where the corruption is, the corruption seeks anything and everything that is good and that has done work uh, upon the inner self. And they will weasel their way in and corrupt it. So masonry, free, Freemasonry is, is no exception to this. They're, they're absolutely, positively... Once again, like, do your own fucking research, but there there is... There is nothing that hasn't been corrupted in today's world right now. Save a certain Russian goddess in her kin, in our kin, who have slept for many, many years, who are now awakening. So yeah, like um, I I've watched a lot of Marty Leeds, but but like a lot of people, like like with all of us, you know, we're gonna reach levels to where the people that we uh, did learn from, we're gonna kind of uh, fall away from those people and, and get into other things in life because our our interests and our our growth, our inner growth, you know, takes on many different forms, many different levels. So we're going to attract our, to ourselves, like, different things. And so this is kind of what's happened with, with me recently and Marty Leeds. And I, every time I, I, I do actually finally sit down and watch some Marty Leeds stuff, like, uh, it, it's super, super fucking awesome shit with the commentary that he does with, with the, uh, the, the esoterics that he gets into. Definitely, definitely recommend Marty Leeds. I definitely, definitely recommend letting go of all of the fucking shit. Let, letting go of, uh, have, feeling the need of having the need to always uh see what other people are doing i am all about going within um going out in nature uh solitude the hermit mode spending time with yourself and going very very deep within because then you you are face to face with who you really are, and then you're also, also your perceptions of who you thought you were, uh, the, the indoctrination systems, the effects that that had, the effects that your parents had upon you, which is, I'm just going to say right now, and I, I, will, I will go into this a little bit more in deeper video, in later, a little bit deeper in later videos, uh, just the effects that parents have. 
which is the the greatest effect that that can be had upon children because as a child you you look up to your parent to uh teach you to to about the world that so it's very rare nowadays that a child grows up and they still have those feelings that they had for their parents when they were very young because they come to realize the corruption but also like I recommend and I, I encourage move beyond your perceptions into re the realizations of where the corruptions stemmed from the roots because it's not you know of course, you know, every individual is responsible for themselves, but there are reasons why, you know, your parents went along with the fucking script and the system and the bullshit. And yes, you know, it's always going to be <sighs> well, you weren't strong enough or, or you weren't able to fucking realize it. And, and yes, this is true, but also, there's, there's so many factors at play, and things weighing upon people that, that stop them from going deeper. This is a fucking painful process to finally come to realize for yourself, the influences, the, the entrainment and indoctrination that you have been through that we all go through the to finally realize the corruption going on when you touch upon that and i've done that uh some time ago but i'm still you know in the process of not being like completely succumb to the pain of it because it's it's a very painful process when whenever you really are able to tap into the truth of, of what's been going on that will destroy you because because of the severity of of what's been going on so uh you have to come to a place where you you realize the corruption and the degradation and the severity of it and it's very severe it's very i don't like to use words like evil but it's very non-beneficial for the embitterment of who and what we truly are you have to see it for what it is and choose you have to choose to move beyond it choose For yourself. Where you want to go with it. Feel it. Yes. Realize it. Yes. But also feel and realize. what Who you really are. The essence of yourself. What the heart of the matter is. The heart of hearts. The essence of humanity. What's the point of all this? What's the purpose? What is your purpose? So yeah, to be honest, I kind of want to end it here because I feel like if I'm going to play this, it's going to be getting into things that not necessarily are arbitrary, but it's easy to become argumentative about. But I do recommend Marty Leeds and recommend this video and recommend diving into this guy and his work because this will kind of uh, let you know what Freemasonry is really about, what the uh, 
what the coatings are really about here in the levels of Freemasonry, the levels of the uh, understanding and understanding of the esoterics. So yeah, that's where I'll end it right now. So. <sighs> Investigate things for yourself. Please, please spend time with yourself. Because in doing so, the more you do that, the more you will be able to dissolve the barriers of who you think you are, the self. And then melting into the uh, the totality of what that word is, the self. To really start to become aware through engagement of your own inner work. Of who and what we all are. How connected we all are. Go within and realize that even, even even though in times like you may feel very very alone, very secluded, very isolated, very <sighs> very depressed or very. In a place where you, you don't you don't feel like uh, hmm. <sighs> and basically this is just like touching upon like depression and hopelessness which is you need to realize like we all go through these things like you're not alone here this is like right now this is a message I really want to share with people it's like you're not alone like I go through this a lot I go through this um, these these uh, roller coasters and these cycles of feeling uh quote unquote on top of the world or like you know i i understand like so much I mean, and it's because of a felt awareness that i have but also that awareness sometimes gets sucked away for various reasons and uh we are left with this void inside where we we don't want to keep going through this like anything is better than this feeling of this void and hopelessness but I just want to encourage you like it does get better you do f eventually find yourself again and when I say yourself I mean the self It is, it is really hard to remind ourselves of the good in life whenever we are uh, completely uh, surrounded by the dark and the, the corrupted bullshit and, and have that thrown on us by people. And I go through this a lot with uh, my quote unquote job that um, I, I realize uh, how much my day-to-day -day interactings uh, in my inner state, um, how, how greatly that's affected by, you know, people showing kindness and, and, and reflecting the kindness and the heartfelt connections within myself, reflecting that back onto me. And then the people that... Um, are so caught up in their own shit 
and so down a level of hopelessness and helplessness that the only kind of way they can interact with be with people is get the fuck away from me. I don't like you. I hate you. But that's because of what they're feeling, what's inside themselves. Basically, they're saying that to themselves. So, uh, just just a reminder here: like, if people are if people are coming at you in that way, like, try to understand and try to realize that. <sighs> They're doing this because of what they're going through right then and right there. Because they're, they're uh, reflecting what they need to deal with inside themselves. So basically it's just a projecting that's going on. And this is all stuff that's easier said than done. Because uh, whenever we are caught up in the emotions of it, in the... You know, day to day hustle and bustle. Like it's it's really hard to just stop for a moment, ground ourselves, realize like why people are acting the way they are sometimes, and, and just to uh, let that be. To to it's really hard sometimes to just send those people love, no matter what kind of bullshit they throw at you. Just just to take a step back and realize and deflect that crazy bullshit and realize you're probably doing this right now because you're overwhelmed with what you're going through and I just want to send you love and a resonance and remembrance that you, this too shall pass. You'll get through this and when you do, please take notes realize the ebbs and flows that we all go through so that whenever we come back around and go into these states again we're able to uh, go into them in a place of ah okay recognition I recognize I'm going into this place and I don't let it I don't need to let it escalate to a certain place where I'm completely overwhelmed and I start to lash out on people. Once again, absolutely easier said than done. But the more and more you start to work on this and uh, cultivate your awareness, the easier it will become. And the less and less you will have these confrontations and these moments with people. Because, as within, so without, you will attract more and more your own inner state. And if that's an inner state of tranquility and stillness and peacefulness and love, that's mainly what you will attract. Of course, there will still be times where you are around people who are completely overwhelmed, but... Because of the recognition and the awareness you have cultivated, you will truly be able to help these people because you have truly helped yourself. You will be able to give these people the awareness and the love that they really need so that they can feel that and break their cycles and, and realize, oh my God, snap out of it. They can snap out of it for themselves. And then they can start to cultivate that awareness for themselves. So yeah. I guess that's where I'll end it. That's that's some pretty good shit there. Like to, to really understand. Uh, for yourself and for everyone. That we're all going through shit. But that doesn't mean that we... Uh, We need to mirror back people's bullshit. We can we can sidestep it and kind of like uh, find ways to maneuver it and find ways to really reach people on a deep level. And if we can't do that, at the very least, we can just not engage and not not become drama mamas. Because that, that doesn't ever help. 
So, yeah, that's where I'll end it. Thank y'all. Love to you all. I, I, I have deep appreciation and love to everyone I connect with. You guys have helped me uh, more than I can put into words. So uh, keep on feeling the love. Keep on feeling who you really are. And uh, we're getting there, motherfuckers. We're getting there. Love y'all.